hey everybody welcome back to the channel happy new year it's a new year we are in 2021 as i film this video and the ones that are going to follow and i just wanted us to have a little bit of a chat have a good video welcoming in 2021 um just looking back the year that was okay the year that changed everything and i just want to share my thoughts with you with regards to that year how i felt in that year in terms of my work in terms of family life friends um content creation all of that and i thought that we could do it as the bullet journalists do it you know have a year at a glance in terms of 2020 before i start with my general content i wanted us to just sit and have a chat and that's what we're gonna do now so let's get into it so wow what a year it was <laughs> what a year it was what a year we went through um uh, the year that pretty much changed everything and before i get into anything else i mean how many of us in life generations and generations and generations can actually say we live through a pandemic it's amazing and to all the people before going any further to all the people who have lost family members friends colleagues cousins just anybody due to this pandemic my thoughts and prayers are with you and with your family i have also lost family members on my mother's side of the family uh due to this pandemic i really really know that it has hit close to home for so many of us if it hasn't already hit home and uh i'm praying for you and your families and i think about it every single day when i light my candle every single night when i go to bed and, uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you and yours and to everybody who is here the asses of the now can we please try to be as safe as we possibly can we've heard it all before for over a year now this the social distancing well almost a year now the social distancing the masking up the just being responsible it's not you being responsible for yourself it's you being responsible for the next person that's what it's about and uh you're protecting the next person from you and really guys let's just you know let's pull it together we're almost there we're almost at the finishing line where we're gonna see we're gonna see a little bit of sunshine in the clouds but while we are here let's do the most and you know protect ourselves protect our family members by doing the right thing let's just do the right thing let's do the right thing that being said and that out of the way 2020 was for me like it probably was for many of you guys a really shitty year okay i'm not gonna sit here and lie it was a shitty year and i've broken down my year at a glance to look at family life to look at work to look at my mental health space all of that and to look at my content creation because a lot of the time i spend most of my 2020 indoors i was in this house i have never spent so much time in my home um uh, and that 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 says a lot about you know mental health that's we'll discuss that later on but 2020 definitely did change the game especially in march uh when it comes to work life i work in the construction and civil engineering sector where most of our work happens outside with buildings and all of that um uh, of course there's offices where we, some of us are at the office but most of the people we work with and all of that are on sites and out and about and all of that so we got hit very hard when lockdown happened and level five happened and the president said we're cutting it we're cutting it uh we got really really hit hard and it's been a really big challenge to keep going even till now without talking about too much detail about where i work and what happened and all of that which i don't care to discuss however all i can say is that financially i was rocked in terms of you know with work and salaries and no salaries and all of that because of the tough time wow son in out of the clouds can't control it uh but because of the tough time that we were in it it was just really really hard i had to make some really difficult financial decisions being at work and being in a senior position there's certain things that i just i could i just had to i had to be very very uh frugal i had to be um 
very conscious of what I am doing in terms of my money, in terms of work and all of that. And working from home again was a very, very difficult thing for me because even though I did have Wi-Fi and, you know, I, I, I create content. So, of course, Wi-Fi is a standard standard for me. Like it helps to have Wi-Fi in the home, uh, but to work from home really, really challenged me quite a bit because I had to get into the mind frame of just being up at a certain time and trying to, um, even though we weren't as busy, especially in level five, because everything was just shut down, shut it down, uh, level four as well. But when we did get the opportunity to move around and go to the office, or not or be at home then i started working from home and doing some you know documents and all of that from home and for me home is my resting place i don't i hardly ever work from home or bring work home so for me that adjustment was quite difficult um but hey i managed i had to integrate the space that I use for content creation and work work into one. Um, some, most of the days I wasn't really as busy. I'm not going to sit here and say that I was crazy busy. I wasn't. Most of the days uh, I was working on my content creation. But it was a really, really tough time. So for me, work was tricky. And uh, we're going back to work next week. Like literally a week from today. And we're just going to have to see how it goes, you know. Um, family life was also really difficult and I'm going to integrate family with friends as well um, because I felt like for the protection of my family I need to just stay away from them as much as I possibly can I, I went to go see them but it wasn't as often as I normally do I typically would see my family once or twice a week but because of lockdown and because of COVID and because of um, some members of my family being members who have pre-existing conditions that could potentially be problematic with mixing with COVID, I had to make the difficult decision to actually stay away from my family. As hard as that was, I had to find new ways to communicate with my family on a regular basis. So we called each other, we FaceTimed each other, we talked on the phone quite a bit um, uh, when we couldn't see each other. And when we did see each other, when we did go home, like my sister and I, if we ever did go home, they, we, we would try actively to come into the house, sanitize, keep a, a relatively safe distance from one another and not be on top of each other, literally breathing in each other's space because we didn't necessarily know you know we we wanted to protect them more especially us me and my sister your faith your ultimate faith we wanted to protect them so being too close to them because they are people who are forever in the house most of the time so being too close to them could have been potentially risky so that was really really difficult having to adjust to all of that and having to uh, eventually use uh telephones and telephones use cell phones <laughs> and eventually having to use cell phones as a method of communication between um all of us you know and t communicating via facetime and what have you but we we try to do that to keep the connection and the bond that we have together strong and alive also to just keep in touch with one another to check in on one another so that happened as well and and that helped me so with the new norm we figured it out and we made it work for us and since then till now we're in a good place we're in a good place same thing was the case with my friends i was actually even more strict with my friends i did not want to see my friends <laughs> And I think they are aware that I was technically slightly running from them a little bit. Um, if I did see my friends, we knew, we spoke about having, uh, have you seen anyone in the last week? No, I haven't. Have you done da, da, da? And then when we did link up, we would keep a safe social distance from one another. So we tried by all means to keep it in such a way that we could see each other when we could, when the country allowed for us to move around. 
but also at the same time protect each other so have you been around certain people oh you have okay now nah, maybe maybe self-isolate like maybe isolate for about a week before we see each other and i'll do the same on my end so there was that kind of communication with my friends which was uh quite nice to see because it's it's a mature way of um approaching the new norm really um and that's what i did with my family and my friends the next thing is my mental space during this time Wow. Now that was really, really hard for me because starting out with the lockdown, with level five, it really hit us so unexpectedly. We didn't expect it. We didn't see it coming. I really didn't see it coming. If somebody else saw it coming, cool. I mean, we, I, I mean, I already knew that there was a virus in China somewhere and this and this and in America, it's kind of getting crazy and this and this. I do watch the news. So I did see that but i didn't expect it to reach us so quickly and when it did when that first case was announced the tourist who was coming back and landed in cape town or something like that and that was starting to be communicated i was like what that's when i started doing a little bit more reading into COVID 19 and what COVID 19 is and this virus and how it spreads and what to do and all of that and I can safely say out of all my family members, I'm probably the most paranoid one, uh, much annoyed, much, <laughs> much to the annoyance of my sister and my father, two Scorpios who hate it because they feel like you're being too paranoid, relax. It's not that deep. We will be okay. Blah, blah, blah. Whereas for me, my mental headspace went into overdrive the moment we were locked down initially in the beginning uh my mental headspace went into overdrive i panicked i wanted to get the gloves and the and the masks and the this and and the sanitizers i've got tons of sanitizer in this house you'd swear i'm distributing sanitizer and i'm not but um I made sure that I get all those things because I was quite concerned. My ear, I've got a little bit of an earache. I was quite concerned for myself and my family members. Um, and, you know, it was a really, really tough time mentally. I wanted to literally hide away. What COVID helped with is for me being an introvert, um, I, I could literally lock myself in my home and not worry about... Um, oh, I went out today. Could I have potentially, do I need to sanitize? Do I need to take a shower? What's going on? Do I need to like literally clean up my house and start from scratch again because so-and-so has been in the house? And what COVID did was that it kept me in my space. For me, that helped. Mentally, it helped. It helped ease me a little bit. But in the beginning, my mental headspace was literally all over the place because I was so panicked i would find myself many many nights with dark thoughts worried you know just not in a really great mental space my anxiety was on on 1000 in the initial stages of covid which right now it yo-yos it comes and goes and all of that um right now with the cases being really high in south africa uh with like 15,000 cases a day and all of that my my anxiety has gone up again but um at some point during you know around the august september october time when cases started coming down i then started coming down as well in terms of you know my anxiousness about being out and being around people and all of that but it wow this year caused a, a really huge mental up and down roller coaster ride in terms of my mental uh, health um, it definitely has been the most scariest one in terms of my mental health because it was stress about work, about where, where I'm going to be work-wise and financially in a year's time and how I'm going to do it and, you know, not wanting to stress my family members. It was stress about uh, just be by myself, not wanting to contract this disease because this virus, because... Um, and thank God, I've been fortunate I haven't. But it's that concern about not wanting to get it because I know how I am when I'm sick with the flu. 
Man, I can't even breathe. If I'm sick with the flu, it gets so intense. So you can imagine I was worried about that. And I've got the costal chondritis situation. And I'm just like, my chest already gets sore, even just, you know? So but um, then I realized that I just need to implement what my doctor has taught me. I need to drink the tablets that I need to drink to calm me down. If I can tell you, I have been loving, loving my anxiety medication and all of that during this time that's helped me quite a lot in terms of sleeping because i wasn't so that those were the things that happened in terms of my mental health but eventually i got to a point where i feel so much better about myself i i feel like i'm in a good place i feel like i can control um um i know what to do if i get to a space where i'm just i'm really not okay and i exercise those techniques and those coping mechanisms like cleaning my house <laughs> i spoke about this in one of my videos like cleaning my house i exercise all those coping mechanisms that my doctor taught me along with my medication to help me get to a place where i can function daily um so my mental health has been a little bit up and down but currently right now it's in a little bit of a bit of and then lastly to talk about content creation 2020 was by far the best year that i've had when it comes to content creation i produced so much content in the last year that i I am proud of it. It's content that I'm proud of. It's not puff pieces. It's not, it's me. It's me and my life. I let you guys into my space and into my home and into my life. And um, also at the same time, I spoke about subjects that are very, very important to me. Subjects like mental health, uh, empowering women, being there to motivate women and inspire women, a very, very fundamental part of my life especially this year because i'm gonna you guys are gonna see something new but i'll i'll give you a little tidbit snippet of what it is um but my content creation provided the space the 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 environment where i could be me the environment where it was therapeutic i always remember Cebu when i say this because it's it was therapeutic for me to to produce content it was therapeutic for me to produce content to wake up in the morning and switch on my camera and vlog for you guys and show you my favorite foods and meals that i'm creating and uh what i'm loving at the moment and not so much makeup but to talk about some of my favorite makeup products every single thing the things that i love um uh, my faith and just so much i can't even tell i can't even recall i'm blanking out as to how much content i've put out this year um and also just being out and about when we could be out and about and vlogging all of that um i loved it i love sharing my life with you guys i genuinely love it from the bottom of my heart of course there are certain aspects of my life that i won't share and 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 like my job or my relationship or uh, th that kind of stuff and I, I love that you guys are uh, aware of this and you have accepted this um it might change it really might change who knows um but for now i feel like it's safest to keep those certain elements of my life to myself and the people that are around me and that know that part of my life but guys my gosh the love that i have received from you guys <laughs> especially in 2020 and how we grew in 2020 I, we have a family here and i love that i love that we can talk to each other in the comment section i am one who takes some time to comment whether on instagram or on um youtube but i'm gonna do better with that the only reason being is that i upload so often that i can't keep up with the comments and i know you guys haven't really complained about that and i really appreciate you for understanding that i've got a job i've got a nine to five job i'm uploading content every other day like i was during the, the this this time more especially in december time um i'm not only uploading youtube content there's instagram content as well so there was a lot of stuff that was going up i could not possibly have enough time in the day unless i wasn't planning to sleep to um upload or respond to each and every single comment 
and I'm thankful that you guys understand that and I'm thankful that you guys are here and I wish I wish for this year for this channel for us to grow in leaps and bounds there's just so much I've got planned for this channel the whole idea is I'm fulfilling my purpose uh, through my channel being able to help someone whether it be with the mental health uh, chats whether it be um, you, you're trying to lose weight and you you want to talk to me about this I don't care my whole purpose in life is to help to empower to inspire however way I can I don't know ev everything so I'll also research what I need to research but I love that we can exchange and we can uh, engage and we can talk to one another and teach one another educate one another about uh, being better versions of ourselves um, mentally spiritually spiritually uh mentally physically you know with with working out and all of that if you want to um and all of that my channel is a pure of i'm talking so fast because i want to get this out so quickly my channel is a pure ref my channel <laughs> my channel is a pure representation and reflection of who i am and i am um, warmed by the fact that you have welcomed me into your home and uh, in, into your phones, your spaces, where you are. Um, and I'm thankful to you for that. And because of that, I will con continue. I will continue to create as much content as I possibly can so that we can share, engage, and be happy. And a little thing that I wanted to share with you. I am currently working on a pro passion project. I am currently working on a passion project that I started last year on July, August. And if you have been following me for a while, this video is not about that, but it's just a little bit tip. That full video is coming, but this is a little snippet where you can go and check it out. If you have been following me for a while and you may have picked up on my Instagram what I tend to retweet or repost and on Twitter what I tend to retweet, I always retweet from a Instagram account called her story underscore global her story underscore global is mine <laughs> it's my new baby which talks about which talks to women which talks to empowering women which talks to women supporting women women inspiring women through things like wellness and life and uh, beauty if you will um, and so many other things we teach each other on that platform and I love it it's my little baby if you want to check it out I'm gonna put it here and I'm also going to put it in the description box down below. And I would love for you to check it out. I would love for you to um, follow that channel. <laughs> channel. I would love for you. I'm nervous talking about this because I wasn't sure. It, it's not even the video for that. But I would love you to check it out. To follow it if it's something that you're keen on. Uh, because there's lots coming with regards to that. I will do a full video on Her Story Global um, later on this month. Where I'll be announcing a couple of things with regards to that. However, check it out. You'll see what it's about. And um, if you like it, if it's to your fancy, definitely give it a follow. And then later on this month, we'll talk about it in detail. Until then, that was my year at a glance uh, 2020 style. Until then, we welcome ourselves into the new year. Thank you guys so much for entering into the new year with me, for being here. Uh, let's do good, let's do best, let's rock, let's move. Let us be better versions of ourselves this year than we were last year. And let us work on our dreams. Let us chase them each and every single day. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.